Do you go? How's our her? She cute. You're so ready. Wait, I wasn't even ready. Oh my God, is it really that easy? How's her shirt? She cute. Oh, friends, I'm here to do an unboxing of the July Sketchbox. Let me explain. So my July Sketchbox, my Sketchboxes usually come around mid-month because I live in Canada. And this month, my Sketchbox came and as I was taking a peek at the contents, one of the items was uncapped and predictably since that item was a marker, it was totally dried out and I couldn't use it. So I wrote a sad note to Sketchbox and said, may I please have a marker that works? And they said, sure thing fam, and sent me a new one. Also just, you know, whatever, schedule, life is crazy, all of the typical excuses. So here we are. Uh, is it the last day of July? If it's not, it's like almost. And by the time this goes up, it'll probably be August. Send cut me some slack. You know, we're trying. We're just trying. Speaking of trying, I am trying recording today on my brand new Sony ZV-1. And so if my skin looks like polished and beautiful or my skin tone looks surprisingly natural, it's a lie. It's not me. It's the camera. Uh, so far she's gorgeous. I'll let you know how we get along. But at this point I love her. Um, Sketchbox. So uh, we're going to take a peek at what's inside here and then I'm going to make a piece and we're going to see how we feel about it. Let's do this. So here's our sketch box. <gasps> Let's learn together. Can I angle this down nicely? We also, like, I got a new tripod. Everything's new, guys. I just, you know, I'm trying to up my game. Is that a good idea? Should I be doing like that so that I can open? Hang on, let me try something. Do I look like a small child? I mean, it's not the worst. Uh, also, who wants to play? Guess how many degrees it is in my studio. I'll give you a hint, the answer is all of them. So if I start to look red and sweaty, I just want you to know that I suffer for my art. So, July Sketchbox, let's see what we've got. I haven't actually opened this whole thing yet. Let's dig out. Oh. Ooh, pretty. Nikolai Shaver. Very nice. Got our little note card. We'll come back to that. Let's check out our goodies. Ooh, this is nice. Fluid 100. I don't know this brand, but it's clearly a pretty nice quality watercolor block. I think at first glance we're going to be playing around with ink or something like that, but that's always nice. I like when Sketchbox is really good about including everything that you need, medium and surface, to make a piece. And it looks like these are some cute little 4x6s, 140. Nice. Cool. So we got paper. This is the culprit. This was the misbehaving marker when this came. It was uncapped and it was totally dry. Sad times. But it's a Tombow Mono drawing pen. 0.5. Combo's always good. It's not like this is a new brand for me or anything. It's, this one works. That's my favorite thing about it so far. We'll see how it goes. What else do we have? Ooh, Faber Castell. I love Faber Castell. Artist pens in sepia. This is nice. This is the whole set of drawing pens. They do these in a couple of colors, and it looks like we've got a brush pen, a 0 0.3, 0 0.5, and a 0.7. That is lovely. That is a pretty high value object to put in this box. Again, not a new brand, not a new material to me, but still a lovely one to get. And it looks like this is a brown tone and I don't have these, so that's exciting. What else? Oh, credit color. I don't actually, you know, credit color has been hit and miss for me in this box. I've gotten a few different credit color. Usually they're like big chunky, 
kind of graphite crayons and they're fun to use. I think I still have one. Hang on, I'll see if I can show you guys. Um, they're fun to use, but they're usually like big honking things like this. And I like them. They're kind of cool, but I literally never reach for them after I do the box. So this is kind of cool. Artist pencils looks like so we've got a brown, uh, a black, and a white. So that'll be fun. Let's see how those work. And then, ooh, look at all these goodies. Oh, cool. We have another. Is this the broken one? Did I throw this out? Oh, do I? Do I, I throw this in the garbage. Oh no. Were there two of these? I somehow now have two working drawing pens. How did this happen? I swear to you, one of them came with the cap off and it wasn't working at all. Oh my god, Sketchbox, don't come for me. I don't know, maybe I was supposed to get two different sizes? No, I think. Oh, wait. This one's kind of scratchy. This is the one that had the cap off and was pretty much dried out. Okay, okay. I feel better. This is a water-based pigment ink marker, same thing. And then we have a good old Copic Chow. This is nothing new. Super familiar. We all know this. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fine. It's kind of a weird color. This is nice though. Nice earth tone. And then, oh, silver white. I like these brushes actually. I have one other one by these same people, I think. And, or if not the same, very similar. And I really like them. They're actually lovely brushes. So that makes me think that there must be, aha, walnut drawing ink. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I don't use ink that often, but I am excited to try it. I will try for you. I will try for you, Skinbox. We'll see. That feels like a substantial amount of goodies. Where's my sticker? Where's my sticker? Oh, we got what should have been the cap on the brush. And then we got our adorable little sticker. Here she is. Very cute. Add that to the stack. Uh, okay, let's start swatching.
that was super fun. I liked this box a whole lot. I definitely like how this portrait turned out. Uh, John Lewis is an incredible human being. I'll leave like, some info about some of the work of this incredible activist below. I had sort of a 50-50 split on this box, so let's start with the stuff that sort of underwhelmed me and then uh, maybe we can talk about some of the MVPs of this box. So first up, the mono drawing pen. Um, I did like this. I like the mono drawing pen, but I do find that this type of tip on watercolor paper is not always the greatest. It was a tiny bit scratchy to use. That said, I think it's just because this pen wasn't necessarily designed for this particular surface that came with this box. I do prefer it when Sketchbox sends stuff that kind of all works really well together. Speaking of working well together, chow markers, you know, I love Copics and I use them all the time. I would not typically put this on watercolor paper. Watercolor paper can suck the life out of your markers and especially with the chow ones, which is the smaller sort of student brand, there's not as much ink in this. So for markers that are overall really high quality and expensive, I would want to be putting this on more of a coated smooth surface like a vellum or a marker paper. I would not typically use this on watercolor. So similar to this guy, these two totally awesome supplies, supplies that I like and I will use, but not really meant for the paper that was included. Box. So not my favorite just for a match for this box. Um, kind of in the mid ground, I guess, was the Faber-Castell pens because the little fine tip points in this set, I had kind of the same issue as the Tombow, but the Faber-Castell also had a brush pen and these are really beautiful to use on watercolor paper. So uh, when it came to line work, this was really nice. Um, they also, the sepia, tone of these I really really like. It's a little bit subtle, it's a little bit less harsh. I'm a big fan of using something other than black in a piece because your eye will just read the darkest color on a painting as black and black can kind of suck the life out of the colors around it so it was really cool to have these. I like these supplies, maybe not the first thing I would put on watercolor paper but they held up super well to having wet pigment on top of them and I love the precision of these so big fan of that. The credit colors actually I was surprised at how much I enjoyed these because I didn't realize how much the kind of chalk pigment would actually be blendable with the ink and with the water so these are really nice little pencils they actually played super well with the ink and it let me get a few more tones into some of the details of the drawing which was super cool. Speaking of tones, I really liked this stuff. Uh, it worked wonderfully on the watercolor paper. I don't use ink that often, but this stuff had really nice buildable tones. Again, it's kind of a nice subtle alternative to black ink, and I'm really looking forward to using it some more. I did have a hard time building up like the deepest, darkest version, and maybe that's just not what this material is meant for. I found it took a few layers to get anything like really high saturation, but for nice subtle tones, this was a lovely material to use. I also think this brush was a great thing to include it's a number four round which I probably have four or five of these but like I could use 20 of them they're wonderful I really like the firmness of the bristles this is clearly quite a high quality brush I was super impressed with how much pigment it picked up and how precisely it went down the ink was actually really conducive to something my watercolor instructor years ago used to always tell me, which was to make sure you let the water do things. And some of my favorite parts of this particular painting are where I was just laying ink down wet into wet and letting it do what it naturally wanted to do. The paper was very, very nice to work on. A watercolor block is always a beautiful option. I'm a big fan of supplies that solve a problem. And when you're working on a watercolor block, you don't have to worry about stretching or taping your paper as much. You can kind of just work right onto it. And I loved that. So overall, big fan of this box. Shout out to Sketchbox. If you like the work that I do and you can't get enough of it, you can check me out on Patreon. Patreon is a monthly subscription service where you can choose a tier to support the work that I do and in exchange I send you all kinds of artsy love and goodies along with 
uh, my deepest thanks from my happy little heart. I hope that you are all staying safe, staying healthy. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye friends.